But before we carry on, don't forget to subscribe and click the little bell to stay notified. Hello and welcome to Zigwheels. And today we are talking about excitement. Excitement about the Aether electric scooter. And Nabil, why are we so excited about Aether? We are excited about Aether because they have come up with a brilliant scooter. Not just electric, it's just brilliant in all the aspects. It's practical, it's fun to ride and the technology. It's just filled with technology to the gills. And the touchscreen, I love it. The navigation experience is fantastic. It's a proper automotive touchscreen. It's not like having just a phone on there. That's just not a display that you see and touch things on. That's like the brain of the scooter and it's controlled so much more for example the battery management system it controls how much charge should go to the battery when it is supposed to go to the battery it maintains the battery charging temperature it looks at each cell it looks at temperatures across the cells and if some cell is hotter than the other it will charge that a little slower and as the charge gets full it will trickle the charge as it comes in later which is fantastic stuff then the gps is inbuilt it has an inbuilt sim which is giving you the connectivity so it's not dependent on the smartphone for navigation it is also learning how you ride how much brake you use, how much throttle you use, where on your route, on your daily routes and then it's giving you that optimized range according to your riding style, your personal range. It's not just a random number it's throwing up, okay, this is a range we expect, this is real based on your riding right. style which is, which is, and it's something that will evolve over time as you ride more and more which is fantastic. fantastic. And speaking of technology, not to forget the 6 axis IMU. Yes, I have an in-house developed 6 axis IMU in the scooter and what it does, it basically controls the self-canceling indicators. It doesn't get more <laughs> geeky and exciting than that. Yeah. It's a technological masterpiece, I agree. But why I am so excited about the Aether is that it just rides so beautifully. Like for me, there was no transition from, of going from a petrol scooter to an electric scooter. In my head, it was instant. It is so well balanced. That chassis, it's space age. Weight distribution, the battery is down low. Side by side, there's no, like on each side, it's exactly equal weight because of the way the battery and the motor is placed. It just feels so natural, planted. Even the suspension, like the way it functions, it's firm, but it's like the sport bike. It's, it's firm for good handling. Yeah, it's, it's not just, It's not the Aprilia SR firm. Yeah, it's just, that's a little yeah. too harsh at times. This one is just, it, it just feels nice. You can get, hop off an Activa and onto this and Apart from the no noise and no yeah. vibrations, there's no learning curve no to adopt to an electric exactly, scooter. Exactly, you can just start riding no problem at all. And a lot of people uh, who have seen the price are not very convinced and I think their excitement levels are not as high as ours because of the price. I yes, I agree that over a lakh of rupees, 1.24 for the 450, it is it's a big number, I agree. But then you're getting so much, like you're getting all that tech. Yeah, all that technology and all that performance and handling packaged into something so beautiful and so well built. Quality of plastics and this is coming from a company which is not an automotive company. They have not really built vehicles before this, but the quality, they, they, I think the only slight concern I had with build quality on the bikes we rode, which are pre-production bikes, was uh, the plastic around the brake levers was a little rough, the edge of the plastic, the edge, the over plastic felt quite nice, the paint was great, paint finish was brilliant, uh, so it's only available in white, even if you take away all those panels, underneath it looks like even the, the chassis is it's awful it's, it's all engineering but it still looks so beautiful the aluminium chassis it was shown to us when we went there for the first ride and we were just drooling all around <laughs> but i think at the end of the day it is a premium scooter not just a premium electric scooter it's a properly premium scooter i mean if you look at if you think of premium scooters there is the vespa 150 which costs over a lakh of rupees and some people are willing to pay that much for that so why not for this? It yeah, is, because is, the 450 is actually giving you so much, so more, much more than that price. Vespa exactly. and it commands that price tag. Then comes the point of having a yearly subscription of almost 10 grand which some people think is a little much. But actually we have explained all of that, how that works out in the long run. The link in the description below where you can compare the Aether to a Vespa and the Aether to uh, an Activa. You can find those links down there. So do check those out. And that's the thing, that the performance is actually better than most scooters most in that scooter. like I think in roll on figures is actually better than all scooters so sitting behind you when yeah. you, every time you open, open, the, open, gas. open yeah, the gas <laughs> like I was getting thrown back I had to actually hang on for dear life and I don't remember when that happened to me on a scooter ever 
the range of 60 the numbers feels a little small but then again it's it's not a problem per se yeah and also you have to understand that the range of 60 kilometers which ether is claiming is the practical range that you will it's achieve real, in your, it's, it's, a it's a real range that you will achieve in your daily ride it's not like they're claiming 60 and you'll end up with like 45 or 50 kilometers of range no so if you look at the ARA figure actually that's over 100 107 kilometers of range and and most of these other electric scooter makers they claim those figures not yes. the real figures like in fact on our ride we got more than 60 yeah. like you were riding flat out the whole time and you got like a little over 60 yeah. easily i was riding aram se for the shoot and if i had if i had gone on riding i would have got about 75 80, 80 around at least e easily at least 80 on yeah. the scooter so which is really remarkable you can't think of range in the same breath like if for petrol and for electric like for petrol for example if you wanted say 100 kilos of extra range you would just need three liters of fuel which is at the most three kilos of weight on the scooter for that extra range on an electric scooter we're carrying at least 30 to 40 extra so kg more because that much more battery you have to yeah. carry yeah. so so for electric scooters carrying extra range that you will not use is an absolute waste of energy because you're just dragging along extra weight for no reason so it's a little what over four hours for a for a full, for charge. A full charge from a dead battery exactly. at house not even at the ethyl grid yeah at your home yeah so i mean even technically an iphone 7 plus takes almost that time from dead battery from dead so battery to charge for a scooter that's not really that's too bad yeah and if you want a quick charge you can always use the dc charging points on the ethernet okay, so which is across bangalore for now and it will switch it will go to most cities soon so i mean technically if on your commute you can stop somewhere have a cup of coffee charge for a few minutes and for every minute you spend charging you get about one kilometer, one of, kilometer range. of range yeah the future of course will be a place key where you'll have charging points if not ether points some charging, some other charging stations points. across the, the, the city, in your colony, in your uh, office. And once you have all that in place, that range number, I think, won't bother people so much. Yeah, like that become a part of your ecosystem. Exactly. But I think in that sense, 60 kilometers should suffice most people. Yeah, and if you want to go that extra distance, you have to extend your range a little more than like your smartphone, for example. So when you want to use it for longer, you dim the brightness or put it into a battery saver mode. You can do that in the Aether, in so mode, yeah. it comes with an eco mode and also if you don't want to do that, you can just go gentle on the throttle for those extra few kilometers. And the part about smartphone I think is, is really apt because it, it sort of takes me back say, a little over 10 years back when the first iPhone was launched. Like it wasn't the first uh, smartphone, it wasn't the first uh, screen phone, it wasn't the first camera phone. But it was a phone that took all this, put it together in an, in an expensive premium package which also quite desirable. But also it came at a point where we had phones it will last us at least three to four days uh, on a single charge. But the iPhone didn't do that. It lasted a day. Day max. But now we are okay with it, right? Like we have learned to be okay with smartphones that give you so much, but then don't last a full day. Yeah, we are ready to do that compromise for that kind of an it's, output. It's, 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 I don't think it's a compromise. I think it's an adjustment to your style of using something. And that's exactly, I think, we have with the Aether. It is essentially is doing all of that. It's a premium scooter experience. It will definitely have to require an adjustment in how you do your commute and how you charge versus how you fill petrol. Obviously, those things will differ. But then it, it, it's something that you will get used to very easily. And just like post the iPhone, like after some years, you had your, you know, you had your OnePluses and your Xiaomi's of the world. You will have more affordable versions of this going forward. And the ones who sort of start a trend are always, I think, the more expensive, the more premium ones. And they have to be. They have to make the product aspirational. I think which Ether have done. And I think that's why we are, like we are hardcore petrol heads. We love our fast motorcycles, but we are excited about an electric, electric scooter. scooter. So I'm sure like based, I mean, if we are excited, I'm sure many of you guys are excited about the Ether as well.